and novelty prop bets. Name a more iconic duo, I'll wait. No need to do that. I'm Rachel Von Oranya here for PicksWise at Game Day OJ on all the social media handles. Be sure to give me a follow. Uh, but you know what? Super Bowl novelty bets are a tradition like no other. They're specifically tailor made for those of us who don't really have a dog in this fight or just feel completely unsure about how the game will go. So if this sounds like you, fret not. Okay, the books cook up some really clever and quite often hilarious novelty bets for the Super Bowl that have absolutely nothing to do with the X's and O's on the field and everything to do with everything else that's going on on the big day, okay? So don't worry, if you wanna bet on this game, you can. Vegas does this for you because you know what? They don't discriminate, they want your money too. Okay, so let's go ahead and deep dive into some of the best novelty bets I found for Super Bowl 55. The Chiefs get shut out, that's plus 50,000 odds, okay? The Buccaneers get shut out, plus 40,000 odds. Now this is about as crazy of bets as they come as these odds reflect, right? Look, we have Tom Brady. He's the GOAT. I don't care what anyone else tells you, 100% undisputed, or at least it should be, Tom Brady is the GOAT of all time. Patrick Mahomes is the baby GOAT, okay? That's Tom Brady's heir apparent, if you will, okay? Now, while these two guys are very different, these quarterbacks have been at the helm of some of the most prolific and unstoppable offenses we've ever seen since they stepped foot on an NFL field, okay? And look, Brady hasn't put up a goose egg since 2006 and Patrick Mahomes never. Do you remember what you were doing in 2006? Cause I sure as hell don't. Okay, but before you look at me too side eyed here, know that the Super Bowl has seen two teams only put up three points in a game before in the past. Um, in fact, one of those games involved Tom Brady, okay? And it was the lowest scoring game in Super Bowl history. That was uh, the Rams and the Patriots. So could there actually be something, some fruit to be taken from this bet? Well, if it was anyone else besides the Chiefs and the Bucks, I'd say maybe. But look, you have Andy Reid. He's coming off of basically, essentially a bye, right? I know you've heard about what happens when Andy Reid's coming off of a bye. You have Bruce Arians, who's got that gunslinger mentality with multiple Hall of Famers or what would be, will be Hall of Famers on the same field. And then, as I said before, you have the goat and the baby goat. So I'm gonna tell you that there's not a chance in hell that either one of these teams lay a goose egg, but maybe you're braver than me. Hell, no risk it, no biscuit, right? Uh, if you do place a bet on this, I expect you to leave a comment down below. I will be praying for you, I will cheer for you, I will root for you, and I will also be expecting a small little tip in my Venmo or Cash App account uh, because I put you on this bet. All right, now I'm just messing with you, okay? So anyways, speaking of baby goats, I found this next bet in particular to be pretty juicy because I saw a lot of y'all hating on me in the last episode of the Pixwise NFL show for saying baby goat. Okay, well look, you're living on, under a rock if you've never heard the term baby goat. I didn't make this up. This is a real thing here. And I'm about to show you proof that it is, okay? Um, the bet is which, broad, I'm sorry, will a broadcaster mention the term baby goat? Yes, at plus 325. No, at minus 550. Okay, so take that, take that y'all, haters, I said it, it is what it is, but uh, I feel very vindicated, but uh, you know, not vindicated enough to put my own money on this bet. Anyways guys, thank you so much for joining me with this little novelty bet fun video that I did for PicksWise. Uh, be sure to go to PicksWise.com for all your betting insight, tips, tricks, needs, wants, all that good stuff. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't done it already. Look, I just want to say personally, I want you guys, picks wise, everybody, we want you to enjoy this game. It might be the GOAT of all Super Bowls. Let's be grateful that we actually get to witness it within our lifetimes. No doubt history is going to be made here. So have fun with this, have fun betting, and as always, remember on behalf of picks wise and myself, gamble, have fun, but gamble responsibly. Peace, we out.